The true story about my ex's crazy and insane family. This all happened about nine years ago or so in the LA area hills in California. Every Thanksgiving and Christmas was one heck of an entertaining redneck circus. It was always the sight to see at the Dugan household. Let's start off with a little background on everybody and her huge family. Her mother was an ex-dancer at a place called Deja Vu. She worked there for like nearly 13 years, but at age 40 or whatever she was at the time, she was no longer in the business and she was semi-retired, or at least that's what she claimed. Her younger half-sister was a hot little thing. She was only about a year or two younger than her sis. I honestly fantasized more about her than her actual sister who I was with. When me and my gal used to bang there, I used to daydream about her sister walking into the room on accident and joining us. She was a stunner, but she already had a kid with her live-in boyfriend who lived on the property also, so I made sure to stay away from that sucker. Her grandmother was the owner of the entire property there. She was a vicious chain smoker. She basically smoked Bud 24-7, and she did other things like M&H, and she would always dress in way too revealing clothing. Way too revealing for her age of like 70 or whatever it was. She would be yelling and screaming about something always. She basically was never silent. She was always flipping out about something. Her biological dad spent most of his life behind bars. He'd be in jail or prison for a few years, and then he'd be out for a few years. And he just kept going back and forth between the two. He'd make a few Thanksgivings or Christmases when he could. And every time he was there, he would get into it with a stepfather. And it was a crazy sight to see. That's right. Her mom remarried. Her stepfather was one of those creep types. He was actually a fourth grade teacher in the Bakersfield School District, and he lived there on the plantation on the weekends. This dude even made my skin crawl. But hey, he was making decent money, and he had good health insurance. So her mom remarried him, right? She also had an older sister who lived on one of the trailers on the property. Her living boyfriend also lived there too as well. They would basically stay in their trailer all day long injecting H. I'll let you figure out what H stands for, but it rhymes with Marowin. They like never came out unless it was for a holiday dinner or something like that. Her boyfriend basically looked like a Hispanic version of a homeless Jesus. Her uncle actually lived there too. He was a plumber, but not like a legit one, more like a Home Depot parking lot plumber. And it was funny because the property had this really bad pipe system. We were encouraged to use the outhouse as much as possible. Something about their septic tank was screwed up or something like that. Anyways, her uncle was basically always high on M. I'll let you figure out what M stands for, but it rhymes with Heth. Her uncle's girlfriend lived there too. She was an ex-something. Something in the adult entertainment industry, I'm guessing. Who knows? She was also addicted to that M stuff too, that heth. And boy, those suckers used to be loud at night. They would rock that trailer like you wouldn't believe. And here's the best part right here. Her grandmother actually had a 37 year old boyfriend who lived with her in the main house. And he was basically addicted to H and M and anything else he could get his hands on. And he did not work. His job was to basically get high with the grandmother and keep her coming. This was a crazy age difference, like 37 years to 70 years. That's wild stuff right there. They would basically scream at each other each and every freaking waking hour. There would always be like random sketchy people coming and going at like all hours of the night, even sometimes like 3 a.m. They'd come for like 15 minutes and then they were gone. Long enough to make a deal, if you know what I mean. It would be a new sketchy person each and every time. You never knew what kind of sketch bag was going to show up that night. Basically, each and every one of her family members smoked like a chimney. It was literally a madhouse. And there were about 10 people or so who lived on the property. And only one shower and one toilet worked. That's right. It was a constant fight about using the bathroom at certain times and stuff like that. 
Oh my gosh, that was crazy right there. It was like an old ass house they lived in too. Probably a hundred years old or something like that. And everything was constantly breaking in it. I mean, extension cords ran from the main house to the trailers to give them power. This place was such a freaking dump too. There was like car parts and trash every freaking where. And boy, every Christmas and Thanksgiving used to be one huge scream fest. Everyone was either high or drunk, or whatever they were on. And there was no actual holiday celebration happening. It ended up being everybody freaking out and fighting over money the whole freaking time. But yeah, this place was drama central. It was the definition of a madhouse. Everybody in that whole family was batshit crazy. Fights actually broke out during birthday parties and big ol' huge arguments during Thanksgiving. It was crazy. And believe it or not, the least craziest person out of that whole entire family was actually my girlfriend at the time. She actually worked and went to college during all that crap. And dang, I really miss her come to think about it. And I really miss her family because, good lord, that was so entertaining, to say the least.